Hello everybody. Today's our last story of the week and our last dragon story. But this story is a bit strange and I'm going to need your help. And our word of the day is the word imagination. And I know that you've got the most amazing imagination. Imaginations. So you're going to come and help me. This book is called There's a Dragon in Your Book. And it's written by Tom Fletcher. Oh, look, there's an egg in your book. It looks ready to hatch. Whatever you do, don't turn the page. Should we turn the page? I think we should. Let's turn the page. I can't believe you did that. The egg has hatched and now there's a dragon in your book. Don't be scared. It's a baby dragon. Why don't you tickle her nose? Should we tickle her nose? I'll give her a little tickle. It again. Oh. <gasps> I hope she remembered to sneeze into her sleeve. Oops! The dragon accidentally sneezed a fire into your book. We need to put it out quickly. Help Dragon blow out the flame and turn the page. Right, we're all going to help. Are you ready to blow? One, two, three, blow. Oh no, your Dragon didn't blow the fire out. She blew more fire. Carefully, Cover the flames by turning the page that should put them out. Okay, see if this works. That's no good. The fire is getting bigger. Don't get too close. If only we could think of a way to put out this fire. Hmm, let's think. That's it. Let's use your imagination to put the fire out. Imagine a great big water balloon right in the middle of the next page. Make sure it's full and ready to pop. Perfect. Now, use your finger to pop the balloon and get ready for the splash. Splash. Hooray! You put the fire out. Give the dragon a high five. Are you ready? One, two, three, high five. You have a great imagination and Dragon must be a little hungry now. Why don't you use your imagination again and think up a yummy treat for her? How about a great big cone filled with a triple scoop of scrummy, yummy, Ice cold chocolate and strawberry flavoured. You guessed it, ice cream with sprinkles. Wow, that looks delicious. Yum. Well, Dragon must be tired after all that adventure. I think it's time for her to fly home.
she looks very full. She's going to need some help taking off. Flap the book up and down like giant dragon wings. Okay. Oh, nearly there. Keep flapping. Oh, there she goes. Goodbye, dragon. Wave goodbye and turn the... Oh, hang on a second. What's this? I wonder what's coming next. Oh, look, more eggs. Whatever you do, don't turn the page. Hmm, maybe we shouldn't turn the page. Shall we turn the page? I think we should. Let's turn the page. Uh-oh. I think it's time to close the book carefully. I hope you enjoyed our dragon story and I think that you'll be able to use your imagination in lots of different ways. I'll see you soon. Bye.